Hey guys, Dave and Foster back. Just set up camp for the night. Found a nice spot here, um, actually right outside the town of Anderson, Alaska. Um, really cool spot, as you can tell. It's May in the interior of Alaska, and so it's definitely mud season. Um, but we're not scared of a little mud by any means, and we're just happy to be here, find a spot for the evening. Um, it's currently about nine o'clock, and you can see how, maybe you can't see, but you can try to see how high in the sky the sun is still. So um, maybe I'll shoot video a little bit later, but I wanted to do this now because I'm actually getting pretty tired. Um, just kind of another long road day and haven't quite adjusted to that whole light until midnight deal. So a little bit tired, but at the same time, wanted to show you guys around. Um, we're actually right on, get out to a clearing here in a minute, but we're right on the Tanana River in Alaska. Um, just came through the town of um, Kenana on the Tanana. Um, super cool little town. Um, there was a little RV park there, actually a free RV park, but they're not open for the season yet. Um, so tried to pull in there it was all closed up and there was a neighbor out um just started talking to him his name was art and really cool guy ended up helping him kind of brainstorm an electrical issue with the uh, front end loader he was working on so got to talk mechanics and guy stuff for a minute which was cool but um just another little encounter of meeting really really cool people on this journey um and it just got me thinking about, you know, how we could go through life, even on a trip like this, we could just get so caught up in our own thing and what we're doing. Um, and I think, I know for myself, we kind of forget about other people and just are sort of closed off without even noticing it. So just wanted to mention that um, and encourage you guys not only to be available to others, but to be available to God, to be available to the one who made you and the one who goes before you and the one who has a very specific plan for your life. Um, it's so easy um, to get wrapped up in our thing and I have to do this, I have to do that. And I've heard a pastor say that that's a really dangerous thing. There's very little that I actually have to do, praise God. <laughs> um, but seriously, even when you think about your own life, I bet it's more true for you than you think um, when you get down to what's really important and what you actually have to do. Um, it's like the old country song, all I really got to do is live and die, but I'm in a hurry and don't know why. Um, silly song, but it's, it's absolutely true. We get in such a rush, we get to doing things, life happens, and I get that, but I just want to challenge you guys to make yourself available to God and just... Pray tomorrow morning or whatever next day. Just say, God, let your will be done. And pray that prayer and really mean it. Um, and just try to make yourself available to him. You know, God has prepared oh, God has prepared good works beforehand for each and every one of us. And um, I've just noticed that when I deny myself my own will, just deny myself a little bit and make myself available to him, um, just these chance encounters come, come about, whether it's helping somebody on the side of the road or just meeting somebody like Art in this little town in Alaska, who I'd say was more of a blessing to me with his local knowledge and information than I was to him. Um, but at the same time, you know, maybe God used me in some way in that moment that I don't even know. So just wanted to mention that, make yourself available, slow down a little bit. Enjoy the journey of life and um, give some good thought and some good time to um, think about what is God's will and what are those good works that he has prepared for you this day, every day. So, hey, Foster, Foster, get out of there. Foster's venturing, super bad sun glare, but Foster's venturing a little too far on this semi-frozen river for my liking. I'll try to get some footage later because you just can't see anything, but there's water flowing there, and it's kind of hard to tell where the shoreline ends and the river begins. So this is breakup season. If you
to be kind of dangerous. So we're going to steer clear of that and um, probably make some food back at camp here and check in with you guys soon. God bless you. Um, hope you have a blessed day and that um, you give some thought to how the Lord might be looking to use you today. Thanks. See you guys.